Welcome to Mets of the Round. My name is Strino. If you could like, subscribe, leave a comment below. With me today is a man who enjoys his trips to the DMV, Mr. Wupow. Take a number, please, and then go sit your ass in that chair for the next two hours of your life. That, that's what the sign should say. It shouldn't say take a number. Just walk in and sit down, and we'll call you whenever we feel like it. That's what it should say. Yeah. Jerks. DMV. If you work at a DMV, we love you very much. Yes. Thanks for watching. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate you watching. Now fix the system. <laughs> there you go. That's right. All right. We got um we got some featured, some pretty exciting titles coming up, don't we, Wu Pal? Oh man. Of course last week was pretty good too. Last week we had some good ones, man, that the people are now this week getting to play. Uh, yeah, a lot of diversity last week. Yeah, buddy. Same this week though. Gotta got some more more new titles. We got two that I'm excited for. I know a lot of people are too, so Two featured, I should say. And we got some non featured, and I think they're going to be pretty awesome too. First up is Alpha Particle. It's a science fiction uh, indie developed game. It takes a lot of logic and planning to get through each level. Yeah, I mean, I think this game is based around being challenging. Like, that's what they want it to be. They want it to be hard. There's like all kind of different little puzzles and stuff in here that you have to do. And there's like 60-something levels. I can't remember exactly how many there are, but I think from what I've read, this game is supposed to be brutal. So, Man, it looks like it, it, looks like it could be brutal. Yes. The, don't let the simple graphics fool you. Um, it seems fast-paced and a lot of particles, a lot of sprites, a lot of distractions. You're going to have to keep on task to get through these puzzles. Oh, yeah. No kidding, man. And it's... It's, you know, it's not your typical puzzle-ish game, I guess I should say. You don't really defeat enemies. You pretty much use your wits and your certain abilities to beat the puzzles and to beat the enemies, so to speak, in the game. But uh, I think it's going to be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know. I think it comes out on PC only on the 28th. But I could see this game possibly if it picks up some speed, maybe coming to, I don't know, I could see it being a Switch game, something that could be played on handheld or something. Maybe mobile. Yeah, I think a handheld, it'd be a good game. True. Um, uh, Jin, Jin, Jinshin Impact. Oh, don't hurt yourself there. Buddy. Jeez. <laughs> yes, Jinshin Impact. Now Jin, you got me Jinshin. up. <laughs> Jinshin. Jinshin. It's a lot of j. Jinshin. Jinshin. Open open world RPG anime style classic. Um, for RPG, it really fits the mold, and the characters are cute as they can be. Yeah, it's a great game. Of course, it's now coming for PS5, so it's going to look and feel even better than it did originally. But, uh, you know, they're going to take take advantage of the of the graphic increase as well, frame rate and all that good stuff, and the DualSense controller. So, I mean, it's, it's free to play now for the PS4. So, I don't know. I'm assuming PS5 owners that, uh, that have the game on PS4 will be able to get it for free, the upgrade, like they do most other games. I don't know that, but I'm assuming. But... Uh, yeah, anybody that's that's played this game or games like it, it's, it's going to be enjoyable, man. It's, it's a great RPG for sure. Yeah, the, the PlayStation fans are going to really like being able to have access to that, that free title. Oh, for sure, man. And it's what's cool about it is it looks like a Nintendo game. You know what I mean? Like like the, the style of it just looks Nintendo-ish. Yes. And, yeah, it and it's definitely coming. has a Switch feel. True. And they're, they're, they talked about they're expecting to release this for Nintendo sometime in the near future. So, you know. Get what you expect, I guess. But Jensen right. Impact. Jensen Impact. There we go. We can say it now that we're done. <laughs> yeah, not really. A VR game. Layers of Fear. Now, VR and horror is two things that um, s- seem to be made, a match made in heaven, but not for me. Dude, it's a match made to, for me to shit my pants. But... Like, <laughs> It seems like every week we have a horror, uh, not a horror game. Well, actually, we do have a horror game. It seems like every week we have a new VR game every week. Like, it seems like VR here lately is really picking up speed, man. I don't know if it's, I mean, the PC's had VR for a while, but it seems like when PS5 come in with the VR, like, it's it's kind of ramped it up a little bit. Yeah, making it more accessible to people and people getting those new consoles and wanting to see how far it'll go. True. This one looks, oh. Jesus, man, you kind of you're stuck in a mansion and you have to explore. Uh, you're a painter, basically. You're painting from the painter's perspective, and you're trying to, I guess, explore his mind a little bit and 
figure out, you know, if you're actually going crazy or if you're kind of getting to what you're supposed to be getting to. And it's kind of all set well, you in know, this 19th century visual stuff. It looks pretty cool to me. You know, this artist, artists are a weird bunch. That is true, sir. The Legend of Keepers. Now, this kind of takes a twist on the turn-based um, dungeon crawler, doesn't it? Yeah, man, I think it's pretty cool how they're how the how you have to set up the different dungeons and stuff to like place traps and certain mobs to defeat the heroes in the game. So it's kind of a whole role reversal here. I kind of like it. Yeah, so you plan ways to attack the heroes. Yep. Um, basically building the dungeon that's invincible. Pretty much. Yeah. You get to kind of pick and choose kind of what you want to do and how you want to do it. And then once you set it up, you start it and it's let it roll and it is turn-based. So it's for all those that like turn-based games, it is that, but I think it's just kind of cool that you actually get to play from the other side. But if you do a good job, do do you just like win in the first four minutes? Good question, <laughs> sir. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> we'll have to check that uh, out and right. figure out how that works. And here is a remastered Total War mm. Rome remastered. Dude, I'm more I know of, you're. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> this should have been a featured and and it it would have been had it been a new game, but obviously they're just remastering it to for the visuals and fixing some of the gameplay issues of the original, but. Dude, this is probably one of my most favorite strategy games ever made, by far. But they're adding a bunch of new factions and um, the ways that the merchants work, aren't they? Oh, dude, they're adding a lot of cool stuff in. like A lot uh, of features. Yeah, the merchants are going to be a big deal because now you better create like trade links. Uh, you know, you'll better buy out certain rivals with your merchants and stuff. And, of course, you'll better do resources and stuff with your merchant. So there's that. And like you said, there's like 16 additional factions now. So additional, the additional on top of Mike is maybe like 16 original. I don't know. There's a bunch, but right. There's a bunch of factions you can play on. And if you own this on steam already, they're giving you a half price discount for the remastered, which is a nice thing to do. Yeah, true. They, they should have done that really. And they did. So that's awesome. But this one comes with the game comes with, um, Alexander and barbarian invasion downloadable contents into the remaster. So that's kind of cool too. Well, coming up is this week's featured. I know this first one is a fan favorite of yours, Wu Pao. Man, I played this freaking game for I don't know. Like it's probably it's probably not hours I should count. It's probably days of my life that was in the original Pokemon Snap on sixty four months. months. Months, yeah, possibly, yes. So calculated months. Oh man, this thing! I'll tell you, there's gonna be people that go out to find a Switch and buy one just for this game. I guarantee it. I mean, this is, the 64 version was kind of like a, I don't know, man, it was like a new genre almost of a game when it came out then, and now they're remastering this, and it's all coming in wake of other new Pokemon stuff coming up. It's, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, and I mean, it really does look like they've done a good job on the remaster. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, it's not a remaster, technically. It's the new, oh, new. Pokemon Snap. Yep. Yeah, so it's... It looks incredible. I mean, I'm going to have to check this out and take a few shots myself. Oh, definitely. I'm telling you. I, I think my kiddos, I know we're going to look forward to it. I think, I think your son would as well. I think that they could get a kick out of this thing. But it's, they didn't have to change nothing up. I mean, it's basically what we played. I don't know when that, when this game came out, 64, long time ago. But it's, they didn't have to change much of it up really at all. It's kind of the same mechanics. Uh, the same way it works, the same content. Well, not same content, obviously. They got all the new Pokemon here, but you know what I mean. It's just pretty much what we loved and enjoyed before as a reboot, so to speak. Just, just better. Just better, right. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's not one, It's not going to be one of those remasters where you're left going, what? I do no. believe this one's going to hit the mark for the, the Pokemon finds. Absolutely. And it's just, it's just comes in, like I said, it comes in the wake of this is just starting. There's like... You know, the two, they're remastering uh, Diamond and Pearl coming up later this year. And then, of course, the open world RPG Pokemon game coming out first of next year, which is really going to be awesome. But I don't know, man. It's awesome. Switch is you're eating it up right now. Yeah, and if you're a Pokemon lover, you need to start your collection here and move forward. Absolutely. It, 
As if you didn't have 20 Pokemon games already sitting in your drawer at home. <laughs> yeah, like, like most people, I think, you know, from Game Boy to all the way through now, so. I think my 14-year-old daughter would um, play this nonstop for days on end. I could see that. And same thing, man. I mean, I think it just appeals to everybody. It's one of those games, even through, like, I remember when I first played this for 64, I wasn't very excited about it at all because I didn't understand it. And then once I started, I couldn't stop. Yeah, the, the graphics, the visuals. Uh, it's it's hard to believe that this is going to have pretty much the same gameplay mechanics as the 64. Well, they did it so well then, there wasn't, there's not really a need to change it. Other than updating the graphics and stuff, just if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. All right, up next is Returnal. Yes. Returnal. So I know a lot of PS5 fans are excited for this one. They're ready. I mean, I think it's kind of got some, a little bit of mixed emotions on this game a little bit, but I I'm, I'm, I don't see why. Like, I just see nothing but good coming out of this game, man. It looks, it looks challenging. It looks awesome. Uh, the, the content looks great. The I think it's gonna be pretty hard. I think it's gonna be a really challenging game, but I don't. I, I just don't see anything bad with this. And I've read some of the reviews, and I get some of their points, but I think this is gonna be one of those that you don't know it till you play it. That's right. I mean, watching some of these fights and stuff. I mean, they look really challenging, like some of the outrider type yes. combat situations. Yep. And so, if if the if the weapons are as cool, I. Dude, I think you can um, you can sure bet that the P PlayStation fans will have something to brag about here. Yeah, for sure, and it's it's one of those where it's which makes it even tougher. If you die, you start from the beginning. So, oh, Fester's Quest type <laughs> gameplay there. <laughs> yes, sir. So it really makes you want to play attention and kind of learn from your mistakes, so you don't have to redo things over and over and over and over. But they, yeah, but I, I bet you by the time you're done with the game. You are a complete master of the game. Oh, I'm sure of that too. And that's, but you know, they, they, they talk about how there's so many different combinations and things that, and they, you can change up your tactics and strategy and like, there's loads of different ways to play it. Like the, re the replayability is supposed to be out of this world. So I don't know. I think this is going to be an exciting title for sure. All right. So that's, um, it for a featured. It's been an exciting week here. We've got the new Pokemon Snap. We've got a couple titles there for the PlayStation 5. Yep. Got some Switch stuff. Got some VR stuff. So, yet again, a week for a little bit of everything. All right. Don't forget that we have a giveaway going on. So, if you see something in there that you like, go ahead and leave a comment below. And that will give you another chance into our monthly giveaway. Um, it looks if like we'll be doing that. I'd be a subscriber. If there... If there are, if, yeah, if you are a subscriber, subscriber leaves a comment that pertains to this, to one of these games that you're excited about. That's right. You are entered. That easy. Spinning and wheel. We'll be doing that. We'll know, be Australia doing the spinning like, wheel. What, seven days, eight days, we'll be doing the giveaway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have one more video, but we're going to go ahead and put those comments on the next month's giveaway. So, so this will be the last video for this month's giveaway. And yeah, we'll be doing that um, Monday after next. Awesome. I'm ready. That's it, guys. Right. So, appreciate Thanks you for guys. watching. You bet. Have a great weekend.